year is all on us. Call 1-800-AXP-GOLD or visit axpgold.com. The annual fee for the card is $175. See terms, conditions, and restrictions at axpgold.com. Once in a while, I'll listen to uh, the talk radio where they uh, t uh, talk about nasty stuff and use profanity. And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just profanity and just they're punky. You like punky talk? No, I don't like it. I listen to it because it irritates me. <laughs> <laughs> and I like to say, I like to whoop his butt. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yes. So uh, I'm going to do a quickie and then we go to Goran Berglund. Uh, hang in, Goran, with the beautiful Astrid. So, hi, Bob. Uh, do you have any particular stories about doing three episodes of Mission Impossible? Mm -hmm. I especially like your role as an unpredictable hitman trying to get friendly with Leslie Ann Warren. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Phil from New Jersey. Yeah, uh, I doubled a boxer who was acting, uh -huh. and, and he was also supposed to play a, a boxer. And uh, he was a fair actor, and he was an outstanding boxer, but he didn't know how to do make-believe. Mm -hmm. So they saw me, and uh, and uh, the producer said, Bob, can you help us out? Can you double this guy? And I said, Yeah, sure, I'll do it. And they send uh, sent me a beautiful gift. Said, Mission accomplished. Oh, I like that. That's neat. Yeah, but I thought it was kind of funny. There, I got a hit show. It's in the top ten. It's got a 42 share, <laughs> and, and I'm doubling <laughs> some <laughs> freaking <laughs> boxer who can't box. All right, let's talk to Gorn. How are you, Gorn? Hello. Fine, thanks. Thank you for hanging in there. This is uh, Gorn's from Sweden, and he, uh, his sons live over in Sweden, and he's over here living uh, in Sin. Really? I won't mention her name. So how is she, incidentally, Gorn? She's fine, thanks. Are you still with her? Oh, yes, absolutely. All right, good. I like your accent. What's up, Gorn? I happened to read an interview the other day with one of Elvis Presley's bodyguards where he had a few nice things to say about you. Really? And I assume you, I assume you know who that might be? No. Didn't we have someone on the show who was one of Elvis's bodyguards? No, but I think Gorn knows because he read the article. Yeah. Gorn, yeah. The reason I, I, I say no is because he had, uh, he had an entourage. Right. Yeah, this was uh, Red. Oh, Red, red West. West. Well, yeah. Well, Red, I put Red in the Hawaiian Eye uh, when he was looking for work in between his outings with Elvis. And then I uh, had him as a stunt double in the Wild West. And then when that went off the air, I had him as a mechanic in the Black Sheep Squadron and then several, uh, several of the movies of the week. So Red hmm. and I go back. Uh, he's got a, a lovely uh, uh, two sons. And... Um, and he's got some uh, uh, situations where he needs us to, uh, to pray for him and his family. He's a great guy. It's not read personally. It's just something that's going on in his life. And he's just a great guy. So, so I'm glad he had, had, had something nice to say about me. Goran. Yes. Yeah, the, the, I, I can read it to you very briefly. He said, uh, oh, West bef uh, befriended actor Robert Conrad and worked on three of Conrad's TV series, The Wild Wild West, Black Squid. Ship Squadron and the Duke. I owe a lot to Bob Conrad because he really got my acting career going west us. Well, that's the sweet of him. That's yeah. nice. And we had him as a guest, and he's now become a wonderful actor. And I'm so proud of him. And he's, you know, he's 75 or 74. He's 74. And he's just become really good. He went from bodyguard to uh, actor. Uh, to outstanding actor. And I'm happy mm. for him. And thanks, Gorn, for reading that to me. Anything going on in your life? 
and not much. I haven't heard from you, so look, and I'm not supposed to pretend that we're friends because they say it's not a good idea for the format, so just pretend you're a listener and call me at That's home. right. I'm just a listener, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, say, you hey, hey, Goran, call me at home. <laughs> I, I, I tried to do that if I remember your number. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Call, you. <laughs> now, let's, okay, talk, let's talk to Here She Comes. This is a wonderful, wonderful girl. She writes me lo- letters of encouragement. And uh, she's become a friend of mine uh, through this show. Mm -hmm. And she also is a part of the uh, Mouseketeers. Oh, yeah. And uh, she uh, is very religious. She walks around with these beads. Mm -hmm. Rosary. Rosary beads? Yeah, rosary. I know what it is. My wife went to the Convent of the Sacred Heart. I'm teasing you. And I went to church uh, uh, to Mass with her. And you know I can do a Hail Mary full of grace. All right, Mary, how are you? Good looking. (laughs) I'm fine. How are you? Good. How's everything in Vermont? Uh, busy and very, very hot and humid. Good. So. Good for you. I'm glad you got a little That's heat. That's right. Big heat uh, yeah. back there. Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's a silly little laugh, girl. What's oh, that? well, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just back from the, a trip bringing my nephew home, so oh, I'm a little out of sorts. <laughs> All right. So what's up out of sorts? Oh, uh, gosh. Well, I'm just calling to say hi, and I wanted to say hi, too, to uh, Bill and Shauna and Caitlin. And oh, how nice. Um, say hi. We'll get on three and say hi to Mary. Hi. One, two, three. Hi, hi Mary. Hi. Nice. <laughs> and, Caitlin, I have to tell you that I didn't see the picture because it didn't get sh- get shown uh, on the camera very well, but I would have taken it, too. Are you oh, serious? God bless Let you. We go 13, 13, <laughs> 13 to, to, uh, right. to Mary's age. How old are you, Mary? I'm 50. Oh, you never say that, damn it. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> okay. 29, over and over and over. Anyway, but she's cute, and she's religious, and she's, a, uh, she's the show. Yeah. She's a perfect example of friends with the Bill, of friends with the, how you can become friends on the show and have fun, and I keep promoting that because I want to stay on the air and not have to go back to television. Okay, Mary, <laughs> anything on your mind, darling? Uh, no, I just wanted to say hi and let you know that I was uh, going to call in anyway. All right, well, I love you, and thanks for your friendship, kid. I love you, and thank you, too, and you take care. I'll, I'm trying. Thank you, Mary. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. So, Bye-bye. Anyway, w- to Tony, uh, isn't she sweet? She's so sweet. And, I, I, uh, and she's very religious, which I kind of like, too. And that's interesting for a boy whose mother was Jewish, right? Yeah, but you like the religious and thing. I, and it's, my dad was like a Baptist, right? Mm-hmm. And that kind of religion. And my uh, my wife uh, was uh, Catholic, Joan. Mm-hmm. And when, um, uh, when I married her, it's an interesting story. We were both 16, mm-hmm. and she was up at the convent. And she <laughs> called me on a Saturday and said, my parents are having me come to Florida. They're going to spend their winters in Florida. And my grandfather is coming to pick me up. Mm-hmm. And I said, hey, Joan, it doesn't have to happen. You can marry me. <gasps> and she wow. said, well, come up and get me. Wow. We'll be here at 4. It's now noon. <laughs> and at 1 o'clock, she was in that car. Wow. And then a three-state alarm went out on us. <laughs> and after commercial, I'll tell you where we were hiding. Oh, no. Too funny. I can't wait to hear. Marjorie Joan Kenley, K-E-N-L-A-Y. Lovely, lovely woman. And uh, she's deceased from ovarian cancer. And I have oh. five great kids with her and a, a, a lot of fun. Well, we will hear the rest of that story when we come back. It is a PM show with Robert Conrad right here on CRN Digital Talk Radio. With me today is motorcycle owner Dan. Like most people, Dan is looking for ways to save money. 